Friends, we've been invited here to share with Austin and Emily in the most important time in their lives. In the time that they've been together, their love for one another have matured and grown. Now they've decided to live the rest of their lives together as husband and wife. You're the moment when I know that I will never be the same. And every word that I could find in the corners of my mind will never be enough to let you Father, today we just want to bring you glory and honor as we bring these two together as one before you. Our God has established marriage as a symbol of Christ's perfect relationship to His body, the church. We've come to bring you two together as one before Him. both stand before us as children of God, redeemed by Jesus Christ through your trust in Him. It is your purpose to establish a home that is truly Christ-centered, where the Word of God is read and obeyed, a home that is welded together by prayer in which the Holy Spirit is your constant guide. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the authority in the state of North Carolina, you are now husband and wife you may kiss your bride. Let me be the first to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Austin Eastwood. We've been stuck in overdrive Tired of the sleepless nights I don't know where I would be without you Without you Racing through the busy Today's about Emily and Austin, and especially my baby Emily. I, I love no one more than I love you, honey. In high school, me and Emily were more of like the good girls. We weren't really big partiers, and we stayed out of trouble most of the time. And Austin, well, he was more of a troublemaker. <laughs> and I could tell that day when he stuck around without really knowing any of us, and he left all his friends, that they had a little something for each other. And I could just see it in the way they were looking at each other. But one thing I've learned about them throughout their whole relationship is how strong they are as a couple. As I've watched their relationship grow over the years, one thing that stood out the most is that they'll never give up on each other. But I couldn't think of a more perfect match for each other, and I'm so thankful I've been able to witness y'all's journey and the journey that's brought us all here today. So here's to the Eastwoods and a lifetime of adventures, love, and happiness. In all seriousness, Austin, I really admire your ability to be so laid back and easy going, while at the same time still so incredibly driven and ambitious. You're somebody that many people count lucky to have in their lives. Not just because of your willingness and ability to help them out as a friend, son, or family member, 
but because your hilarious and lighthearted ways mean you're always a great guy to be around. I'm honored to have you as my best friend and also a lifelong workout partner. Over the last five years or so that they've been together, I'm very thankful that Emily and I have become such close friends. Emily, you look absolutely wonderful this evening, and I think we can all agree that Austin is one very lucky guy. I've seen over the years how both of you have grown together to become the happy couple you are today, and I'm so thrilled for Austin that he's met such an amazing woman to spend the rest of his life with. And as you know, I'm basically a self-proclaimed member of the Eastwood family, and I know I speak for everyone on his side tonight when I say how incredibly proud and excited we are all to finally be able to officially welcome you to the family. We love you. So all that's left is to wish you both a long and happy life together with all the luck in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and the groom.